Alderaan certainly is the prettiest world on our itinerary. Don't let all that breathtaking scenery fool you, though. This is the most dangerous planet of the core worlds. The nobles here could teach the Sith a few things about backstabbing and assassination. Ah, there's always a catch, isn't there? The planet would be a paradise if it wasn't for the people. Every so often, the noble families spill their bloodlines fighting for the throne. The current succession war is the bloodiest on record. Since the Empire arrived to put its own puppet in charge, there's no telling who will come out on top. Who's the big shot around here? House Algo seized the throne, but maybe not for long. The whole planet's a war zone. The first time I visited, I thought all the nobles were so glamorous. Then I saw the truth. These people don't know how lucky they are, or what they should do with their fortunes. They don't deserve to rule. These nobles really upset you, don't they? I couldn't care less about them. All that matters is getting what we came here for. Your first delivery is a piece of glaze cake. All you have to do is escort that antique power droid to House Organa's castle. Since House Organa runs this spaceport and their castle is right around the corner, dropping off the droid should be a quick run. Got any info on House Organa? They like to present themselves as the good guys, but they're pretty shrewd politically. You won't be dealing with them, though. The droid belongs to a couple of young nobles, Len Turan and his sister Sidonia. Decent people, all things considered. Got it. I better get moving. You made a deal with a woman named Risha for this droid? I'm here to collect. Welcome home, you ugly little thing. I mean the droid, of course. This is no time for your juvenile jokes. We should properly introduce ourselves. I am Lady Sidonia Terran, Herald of the Gold Aurora. And I'm her brother, Lord Len Terran, Warden of the Eternal Flame. Please call me Len. It's an honor to meet people with such fancy titles. Titles are a credit a bucketful here. If you want one, I have a few I'm not using. My brother and I are all that remains of House Turan's noble bloodline. One of Alderaan's more reprehensible pedigrees, House Bailis, slaughtered our family and seized all our holdings. You still have this old clanker, for whatever it's worth. This droid holds new hope for us, literally. Centuries ago, our ancestors hid something inside it for safekeeping. Pirates absconded with the unfashionable machine generations ago. Tracking it down has consumed our family since before we were born. What that droid contains will rebuild House Turan, but we need instructions to safely open the hidden compartment. It's rigged to explode, huh. you see. The instructions are at our family's estate, now occupied by House Bayliss's forces. Without those instructions, we can't pay you. Are you looking to hire me? You're obviously talented at acquiring things. The instructions we need are in a data pad of Turan family history at our estate's library. If you retrieve that datapad, we'll add a substantial bonus to your payment. And there are some additional family heirlooms we'll pay you handsomely to recover while you're there. What am I looking for, exactly? They'll be the valuable-looking things surrounded by guards. Sidonia, it's almost time for that meeting with House Organa. Why don't you go chat with them in my place? How shocking that you'd rather stay and entertain a female guest. Very well. I'll return as soon as I'm able. You don't have to leave on my account. Organa's counselors like me better anyway. I thought she'd never leave. My dear sister has the charisma of a killick. You, on the other hand, are endlessly charming. I hope you're not falling for any of Slick's nonsense. Don't get your feathers ruffled, Corso. I'm just looking out for you. I don't mind if your servant hears our conversation. I'm many things, but Shy isn't one of them. When you return with that datapad, I'll have to find a creative means of thanking you. I don't have time to chat. Oh, perhaps later then. Do be careful out there. Rumors are filling the hollow frequencies of a daring robbery at our old estate. You've set a lot of tongues wagging. House Bayless is missing a data pad from their new library. I let my dear sister have the honors. Never could decipher that blasted thing. It's a simple code, woven through the genealogical entries. You just have to assemble the letters correctly, Len. I can't wait to see what's inside. I hope it isn't a huge explosion. That would be anticlimactic. 
According to this, we must pry open the droid's ventral servo motor housing and disable its lateral conduits. The hollow chip is hidden within a false power storage unit behind a detonite charge, entering the disarm code. You sure we ought to be standing this close, Captain? I've got it! After all these centuries, we finally have our proof. The information on this holochip proves House Turan is owed a considerable number of credits. When the other families hear of this, we will reclaim our status among the nobility. Well, I guess congratulations are in order. Please, there's no need. We're just happy to be rich. I must leave at once to have this data authenticated by the Royal Council. Len, see to our hero's payment. Nothing would please me more, dear sister. Now, oh, brother, let me know when you're done with Slick. I need you with me, Corso. Anything you want, Captain. I thought I'd treat you to a lavish dinner, but it's clear you have other plans. Here, take this data pad to your associate Risha. It contains one of House Turan's old family recipes. The design for a powerful anti-radiation shield, which makes a starship immune to all sorts of nasty cosmic rays. We have to build this shield ourselves? It's fairly straightforward, or so I'm told. I'm sure Risha will explain. Once you add your bonus for recovering heirlooms from our old home, you'll find you've done quite well. You have House Tehran's deepest thanks. Someday you'll have powerful friends on Alderaan. Farewell. You got House Tehran's schematic. Perfect. That wasn't too bad, was it? I should make you do more of the work. I have delicate hands, Captain. It would be a shame to get them dirty. Your next delivery is to take that head in the jar to a sniveling little stuffed shirt named Pima Ahaf. Pima is at House Alda's estate. You'll have to sneak through some tough battle zones to get there. Why does some noble need a head in a jar? It's a history thing. If you're that interested, ask Pima. His lectures are thrilling. Can't wait to ditch that creepy head. I swear its eyes follow me around the cargo hold. This is one delivery I recommend keeping covered. Let's not upset the locals any more than we need to. Good luck, Captain. Guided tours of House Alder's Royal Museum are closed until further notice. I have nothing against off-world visitors, but please leave, or I'll be forced to call security. Do you want this head in a jar or not? I most certainly do not. Get that disgusting thing out of my sight. I mean, really, what sort of buffoon brings a counterfeit head and expects payment? House Alder has already obtained the head of Darth Bandon, thank you very much. It was genetically authenticated by one of my conservators yesterday. Maybe this Darth Bandon had two heads. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is obviously a forgery. Cadrath? Cadrath, come here. Yes, noble curator. How may I serve your impeccable rectitude? Where is Neva? I want her to run the genetic authenticator on this head and prove it's a fake. I haven't seen Neva since she authenticated the other head yesterday, noble curator. I sent a message to her holo, but she never replied. I need you to test this head for me, Cadrath. I'd really rather not. It's quite ugly. Cadrath, perform a genetic authentication on this head at once. Compare the results to the head we received yesterday. I beg your patience, noble curator. This process will take some time. I'm afraid we have a slight problem. This head is a 100% genetic match for the Sith Lord Darth huh? Bandon. I retested the head neighbor verified yesterday, and it does not appear anywhere in the genetic authenticator's database. Somebody owes me an apology. And someone owes me an explanation. Captain Skavik, this is Noble Curator Pima Ahoth speaking. I demand that you return the Arcanian hyperdrive at once. The head you bought it with is a counterfeit. Uh, sorry, Pimi. I have a strict no refunds policy. Hey, Captain. You're a little late to the party. I should have known you were behind this, Skavik. I promised you'd regret crossing me. 
Hope you don't mind, Pee Wee, but Nave is taking an early retirement. She's too gorgeous for life in a museum. What? You... You... Menace! You corrupted that girl! Wasn't that hard, trust me. You won't have much use for women once me and Huey get done with you, Skavik. You still got that giant vibra sword? What are you trying to compensate for, kid? Corso doesn't have anything to prove. Oh, forgive me. I didn't know you two had gotten so close. <laughs> I wish I had a hollow of your face right now, Captain. That expression is just priceless. Have fun eating my vapor trails. This is unthinkable. Skavik has committed a grievous affront to House Alda. Send some guards after him, fast! I'll inform House Organa's spaceport security, but I can't guarantee they will intervene. Skavik received the Arcanian hyperdrive at the spaceport yesterday. If he's still there, he must not have finished installing it. Skavik cannot leave Alderan without a functioning hyperdrive. Hurry, catch him before he escapes! any time, did you, Captain? Bet you ran quicker than a Varactyl in hot sand. Not that it mattered. How does he always manage to get away? Yeah, sorry I can't be that person, but my sweet little Neva is very sensitive to violence. Don't worry, though. My friends here will show you a good time. What's wrong? Afraid to face me yourself? No, uh, it's just... This way, I can watch you get slaughtered from every conceivable angle. Isn't technology wonderful? Captain, say hello to Sergeant Detonian and his men. They were working freelance for the houses, but now they work for me. You hired a whole army to kill just us? I'm honored. The sergeant has graciously accepted my contract, on very short notice, I might add, to vaporize you. I'm giving you mercenaries one chance to surrender. Skavik didn't tell us you were crazy. We should have charged extra. Once you're buried, I'll pay my respects to Risha and collect what's mine. Goodbye, Captain. Hit it, men! You're either the luckiest shot in the galaxy or those were some seriously unlucky mercenaries. <sighs> I guess I'll erase this hollow recording. At least send me a copy of that hollow first. What? For your scrapbook? Look, I hate to cut things short, but I got a swanky new hyperdrive to install. Love that Arcanian tech. Take good care of the rest of my stuff, Captain. I'll be coming for it soon. Just found out what's happening. Sorry I'm late. The good news is, I tracked Skavik's ship to House Thule's spaceport. He must have gone there to finish installing that hyperdrive. There's still time to get him. I'll fly us to that other spaceport in no time. Throttle down, Captain. It's not that simple. The Empire controls House Thule. Skavik has landing clearance from the Imperials. But you'll have to sneak in on foot. Luckily, someone here owes me a big favor. I've arranged a meeting to sneak you inside that spaceport and get the hyperdrive. I can't wait to see the look on Skavik's face when I show up. Bring me back a hollow, and I'll broadcast it. My contact is at these coordinates. Oh, and there may be a way we can profit from this whole debacle. House Alda still wants the head. That pompous gas bag Pima Ehof will probably pay anything to get it. I'll see what he has to say. He was willing to give up a custom-built Arcanian hyperdrive for that head. I suspect he'll say a lot. Good luck, Captain. I'll be waiting. <clears throat> uh, hello again, Captain. I understand Skavik has escaped. I was, uh, truly sorry to hear that. I still have your head. Got anything useful to trade for it? We got off on the wrong foot, didn't we? I apologize if I was rude before. You must understand, the head of Darth Bandon is a priceless artifact. He was the Sith Lord who murdered one of Alderaan's noblest sons. 
Centuries ago, Trask Ulgo bravely sacrificed himself in combat with Darth Bandon. Trask's martyrdom saved the Galactic Republic. What keeps the head fresh looking after all these years? When Darth Bandon ultimately fell in battle, Sith acolytes preserved and enshrined his head. Despicable people. Alderaan's current king is of the Ulgo family bloodline, and he reveres his ancestor Trask. The remains of Trask's murderer will be the perfect peace offering to our king. House Alda must have your head, uh, so to speak. This is a pretty weird peace offering. Had you been raised on Alderaan, you would understand. Any payment in credits I give you for the head now will have to come from my own funds. I'm not a wealthy man. Please, I beg you, for the love of peace and posterity, please accept my offer of what little I possess. Keep your money. Peace and posterity are enough for me. You... you truly mean it? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That was downright charitable of you, Captain. I hope this idiot appreciates it. I would kiss you, Captain, but I'm certain you would strike me for it. I must deliver this relic to the Baron at once. Thank you again. Chonki Faguta, Jiho Poda Gioto Vokise. What's wrong? You too good to speak basic? Atoga Wata Kiko Uba Kiri Wata Buki Donko. Se Gota Do Muti Kihasa da Punyo. Please di Woto. Kupa Tonti Toki Maki Chisa Chubolo Wawuni. This is about justice, not crime. Conchita. Kabanotase Makipuna, Malituta Udmishka. Kichawa Joto do de Bita Tuta Ulia, Nucha. Where's Skabik? I'd like a chat. Nakag Agib. Kick Benabab, Nea Agam Berakaki, Bumo Gala Apaya, Nilama Imi Amka Anga, Naya Narankam, Kala Ama Nani Mami, Levik Bak. Never drink with someone you don't know. Kara Rikaham, Pamka Maka Inuk, Bragam Nemya, Inu Buyen, Kamaka Amka Nanya, Beraka Karam Kara, Ninya Mok, Ora Mag Yang Nikik. Give me the hyperdrive and you can go. Imka Naya Nugan. A genim Naya Lak Umnan Mege. Thank the stars. We're in desperate need, and you're the only one we can turn to. Everything was fine when I left. I'm afraid events have quickly turned against us in your absence. Duke Bayliss was offended by your visit to our former home. He's demanding satisfaction. The Duke is sending his son, Zin Bayliss, Alderaan's finest marksman, to challenge me to a pistol duel to the death. Isn't House Organa protecting you? The Organas think we deliberately sabotage their peacemaking efforts by attacking House Bayliss. They're refusing to intervene. My brother never mastered the art of the blaster. He can't possibly face Zin. Unless we find a champion to take Lin's place, he's as good as dead. Please, will you be our champion? Just how good is Zin? He's fought 25 duels to the death. In each one, he fired a single shot. Maybe he just got lucky. You could break his winning streak. You're about to see a real live hero in action. I knew we could count on you. Please, come to House Organa at once. Zin will arrive any moment, and you must be here to meet him. Just in time. We were, uh, <laughs> about to start without you. If you think the prospect of killing a woman bothers me, think again. She is, after all, not a lady. Nice robes, pal. Sew them yourself. Inform your simple-minded servant he should not speak. I have no compunction about killing your second first. Your fight's with me, Zin, and I think your robes look stupid, too. Ha <laughs> ha! He looks like ranker droppings bundled in shimmer silk. 
You must be the vermin who invaded my family's home and stole our property. You saved me the trouble of hunting down and executing you. I do pride myself on convenience. I pride myself on killing. You saved my brother's life. Not only that, you did it with style. Where did you learn to fight like that? Are you gonna pay me extra for answers? I'm behaving like an awestruck boy, aren't I? There are no words to express our gratitude. This reward will have to suffice. I'm glad I was around to help out. The immediate danger has passed, but it's not over yet. My brother and I must flee House Organa. It's only a matter of time before House Bayless makes another move against us. Why don't you come with me? It's probably safer. Alderaan is our home. We must stay and restore our family's honor. Captain, we will always remember you as our champion. Farewell. I've never been so happy to see a starship part in all my life. But I'm even happier to see you in one piece. Security wasn't exactly tight. See? Sometimes good things happen to you. I have to hand it to you, Captain. You not only took care of business, but you made Skavik look like a fool. I just wish we could have settled this once and for all. Living well is still the best revenge. I don't know about you, but I'm having the time of my life. I'm glad we're done here. It's funny. I can't help thinking Nock Drayen would have hated this world as much as I do. Legend is, Nock was descended from royal blood. They say that's how he got to be king of the galactic underworld before he died. Blood doesn't determine someone's fate. Tell that to the scum Nock Drayen wiped out on his way to the top. It won't take long to wire the Arcanian hyperdrive to the ship's engines and the anti-radiation shield will be a snap to build. Is there some way I can pitch in? Like hold my hydro spanner? No, Captain. But thanks for offering. I'll have those upgrades online in... Wait. Hang on. Oh, this ought to be good. Hello, Skavik. How's Trix? Just fantasizing about killing you and your friends, sweetheart. Want to hear the details? In my fantasy, you burn alive. <laughs> my plan involves Synthrope, a jar of Dio sauce, and a starving colony of Kretsch insects. Haven't you learned yet, Skavik? Cheaters never win. We're leaving Alderaan with all the prizes, and you're... well... stuck being you. Have fun while it lasts, kids. The end of the ride is coming soon. You know that old saying, it never rains but it pours? Today it's pouring hollow calls. I'm getting one from Tatooine of all places. Jaren, I haven't seen you in forever. I'd love to catch up, but this isn't the best time. Someone took Aldila. Said I'll get her back in pieces if you don't come. Pieces! You have to help me. Wait, let me guess. Someone is in trouble, and you're gonna ask me to help. You're a quick study, Captain. Duren, I won't let anything happen to you or Adila. Calm down and start over. When I came home from work, uh, Adila was gone. There was a man waiting for me. He said unless you want to be responsible for Adila's death, you'll meet him at an old Zerga mining complex in the Chini Rift. I don't understand, Risha. Why is this happening? It's a trap, obviously. But my odds of surviving and getting Ardilla back alive are a lot better if you help me spring it. You better have a good plan. Duran, stay on this hollow frequency. Let me get in touch with some contacts. We have to play this smart. Alright, I dug up everything I could about the Chini Rift and that Zerka mining complex. I'd say we've got a 50-50 shot at coming back alive. I don't know about you, but I'll definitely come out alive. Glad to know you've got my back. Genie Rift has more holes in it than a chunk of bis cheese. The Zerka mining complex sits over a network of caverns. Zerka sealed the complex's mine shaft when they left, but didn't bother with the ore processing chute. You can use that to get inside. And then what? That man will kill Adila if we try anything. I'll keep this mysterious kidnapper distracted by surrendering to him, while my friend sneaks up behind. I don't like this. Using women for bait? What kind of man allows that? You should at least wear a shield, Risha. It's a nice thought. 
But do you really believe the kidnapper will let me keep it? What can I do to help? Nothing. I'm not explaining to Adila how I got you killed. Just wait outside and be ready to give her a kiss. I marked a route through the caverns to the ore chute, Captain. I'll give you a head start to get in position. His Majesty so many sleepless nights. There's nothing simple about me. Then I'll see to it your torture and execution are as complex as possible. Risha, what are you doing here? Let her go, and you can do whatever you want with me. Unfortunately for your Togruta friend, I'm to leave no witnesses. Besides, this planet offers precious little else in the way of entertainment. Who's up for a dance? That man kidnapped me because of you, Risha. He was going to kill us both. Why? It doesn't matter. I'm sorry for what happened, but it's over. You're sorry? He held me prisoner for days, threatened to kill me, and you're sorry? Adila, when I heard the shooting, I thought... You thought wrong. Show her how happy you are to see her. I'm never letting you out of my sight again. I'm all right, Jiren, but I never want to see Risha again. We're done. I just risked my life for you. But technically, I'm the one who rescued your friend. Please, Adila. You know I'd never do anything to put you in danger. You already did, and you won't even tell me why. Come on, Jiren, we're going. That could have gone better. At least you got rid of those scum. You gonna be all right? I'll be fine. I'm always fine. We're done here. See you back at the ship. only have one delivery left to make, Captain. Set course for Nar Shaddaa. I'm ready to leave this dust ball in my rear thrusters. That makes two of us. Have to give credit where it's due, Captain. You've done an amazing job delivering this cargo. I always knew you would. It's so hard to be humble, knowing how great I am. It's even harder for the rest of us. No one has ever come as close to finding Noctrain's riches as we are now. How will you spend all that reward when you finally get it? I was thinking I might hire an army of Wookiees. What you lack in practicality, you make up in style. Your last job is taking the men and the Carbonite to these coordinates. It's a restricted area. Only us and the buyer will be there. That's right. I'll help you negotiate this deal personally, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll do most of the talking. Who are we gonna be dealing with? I'd tell you if I could, but this particular buyer prefers to remain anonymous. I'll run ahead and make sure everything's in place. Meet me there with our friend in the Carbonite. Use this access card to enter the restricted area. I'll see you at the delivery point. This is a big moment, Captain. Bigger than you probably realized. I've waited ten years for it. Is the fish head our buyer? Not exactly. He's here to oversee the delivery. Dr. Taylor, let's introduce the captain to the man in carbonite. Begin the procedure. How long has it been? Ten years. I'm sorry it took so long, but I finally have everything you told me to find. 
Come closer, Lishan. Let me see you. I'm different now. Not that little girl constantly underfoot. Now you are my heir. My legacy. Captain, meet my father, Nakdrayan. I believe I've mentioned him once or twice. Heard a lot about you, Nak. If you're not dead, are those other stories made up too? What does it matter if people believe them? Sorry I wasn't completely honest, Captain. I promised Father when he entered Dr. Chela's hibernation treatment I'd never tell anyone the truth. Why was Nak in Carbonite for ten years? The Selkath's experimental carbon freezing allowed me to cheat death. At least for a little while. Ten years ago, one of my lieutenants deliberately infected me with a disease. It's deadly, incurable, and eating me alive. You replaced the infected parts with all that machinery, right? I've done everything to stop this disease, but it's never been enough. Soon, the illness will consume my vital organs. Rumor is, Jedi can heal anything. The Jedi proved uncooperative. I killed three trying to learn their secrets. But that is not our present concern. I lied about my father, Captain. But not his lost fortune. That's real. And thanks to all those starship upgrades, it's yours. You have the only starship in the galaxy equipped to travel where the fortune was lost. No one else can reach it. There is a region of space beyond the Outer Rim, called the Long Shadow. There are no stars, no light, no life. Just a derelict starship drifting into a massive black hole. My fortune waits for you there. I'm sorry, did you say massive black hole? Few spacers have seen the long shadow and survived. They describe it as a vast darkness, slowly consuming the galaxy. I will give you the coordinates to the derelict vessel. You'll fly into the Long Shadow and board it. Retrieve the vessel's reliquary and bring it here. Risha will take a single item. The rest is yours. Tell me about this single item Risha gets. A simple piece of ornamentation. It has no value to you. My daughter will stay here. I have things to tell her, and my time grows short. I'd wish you good luck, but I know you don't need it. You ready for the ride of your life, farm boy? Can't believe we're doing this. The derelict vessel is at these coordinates. Go now. Integrity failing. This vessel is entering the Singularity's event horizon. I'm thinking we should make this quick, Captain. Let's find our treasure and get out of here. Vessel disintegration imminent. All crew advised to abandon ship. Biological entities identified. Beginning mandatory royal edict playback. I, King Eric Drain III, find my throne under attack. Traitors aim to take what rightfully belongs to me. The wealth of Dubrillion will not fall into the hands of my enemies. Instead, I will remove it from their reach. My royal executioner droid will sabotage this vessel's hyperdrive and exterminate you, the crew, to ensure there is no rescue. You served me well in life. In death, you will serve me better. Goodbye, my subjects. Royal Edict playback complete. Initiating execution protocols. Stand down, droid. Your ruler sent me here. Internal chrono estimates King Arak Drayan III has been deceased 106 years. Your statement is unlikely. I knew this conversation was gonna end badly. Executing. Now. Hey, Captain. Bet you're surprised to see me. 
I'm only surprised you have the guts to face me in person. Let's say you've earned my personal attention. See, I've always believed if you can't beat them, join them, and then beat them. So, I stowed away back on Nar Shaddaa. Funny thing about Wookiees, they got great big lungs. Only takes a couple of breaths of happy gas to knock one out. Note to self, invest in some better locks. Oh, you won't be needing those anymore. I want to be civil about this. Sure, you've made my life miserable, but I don't hold a grudge. Really. You should have quit while you were behind, Skavik. And miss all this fun? Not a chance. Bottom line, there's nothing you have that I can't steal. I've got bad news for you. Dead men can't steal. Captain, I've been meaning to ask. Did you happen to... when you fought Skavik? Was Torchy there? She's all yours, Corso. Use her in good health. Oh, <laughs> Torchy! It's good to have you back, girl. I'm not letting another man touch you ever again. Thank you, Captain. I wasn't using it anyway. Besides, our captain has returned. You made it. Open this thing before it's too late. Give me the reliquary. I want to see these treasures before I die. I buried Skavik in that black hole, by the way. Long story. Who is this Skavik? He's nobody. I'll enter the code my father taught me. And there. Such a simple act to fulfill a lifetime of effort. Congratulations, <laughs> Captain. Nock Drain's lost fortune is yours. With one exception. Take the crown, Risha. Claim your birthright. Restore the Drain dynasty as rulers of Dubrillion. Wear the crown and rule that world. Your whole crazy treasure hunt has been to get some kingdom back? Our kingdom. And revenge on the usurpers who stole our throne. Remember those assassins on Tatooine? They were sent by the current King of Debrillion to end me. Why didn't you tell me that back on Tatooine? The less people who know the truth, the better. You saw what happened to my friend Ardila, and she didn't know anything. Don't concern yourself with the fates of others. You have more important things to worry about. If you're going to rule a world, Risha, you'll have to do questionable things. This is my final lesson to you. The Spacer has fulfilled her purpose. Dispose of her, and keep the Reliquary's treasures for yourself. Kill me, just like your grandfather killed the crew of that ship? This wealth is designed for royalty, not your surplus of fortune hunters. No, father. I won't kill her. She's my friend. You... useless child. Spent too many years without my guidance. You're weak. Powerless. Everything I've done. The blood I've spilled. For nothing. <coughs> this is not how it's supposed to end. <coughs> Dispose of my father's body as he instructed Dr. Chela. You are released from my family's service. I'm sorry you had to see that, Captain. My father was sick. I appreciate you not trying to kill me. After all you've done, that would have been highly ungrateful. You're a wealthy woman, Captain. That reliquary holds more than just family heirlooms. Merchants will be killing each other to buy what you're selling. Not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Everyone I've met from Dubrillion has tried to kill me. I don't have an army or a star fleet. I'm supposed to take over a whole planet with just a crown. I'm sure we'll come up with a brilliant plan, your highness. I have a feeling you're just in it for the money. But I can live with that. Figures you'd be sticking around, Risha. 
You're like a man out that way. I'll make sure all the right people hear what you did today, Captain. It's the least I can do. Besides, famous starship captains attract profitable opportunities. And queens in training can never have too many credits. Let's hit the hyperlanes.